Hello Aries, I hope you're doing great. Hope you had a beautiful relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate first. As usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life. And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life? And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Aries, what's showing up here? This is you feeling sad. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is you feeling sad about something. Emotionally, you feel let down emotionally by something that <clears throat> happened and it's affecting you emotionally, negatively. This is you feeling sad, let down. Yeah, this is you feeling alone, misunderstood. Oh, family members are showing up here. Yeah, you feel like you need to stand up for yourself, defend yourself. Um, this shows breakup in a relationship. So this is for those of you Aries that are broken up in your relationship with your soulmate. This shows breakup. You see this? This is you feeling let down, feeling alone. Some of you have been drained financially by family members. This is you feeling like you need to um, let go of certain people because you feel drained financially and emotionally. Yeah, you're so connected with your soulmate, past life connections with that person. You still love that person. Yeah, you still love them. This is you thinking of them, reminiscing of them, but mm, feel broken up in this relationship. I'm so sorry you're going through so much, Aries. You know, please show us. What's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? Something happened recently because this is showing up in first position where whatever happened recently, maybe days ago, uh, maybe even over the weekend, um, it really made you feel emotionally sad. Yeah. Yeah. And shocked at the same time, the tower moment showing up here. So something happened that you didn't really expect, but it happened and it's affecting you emotionally deeply. This is you worrying what's going to happen with the, whatever that situation is that got you so deeply concerned emotionally. You are very worried what's going to happen moving forward. You see the moon, you have a lot of unanswered questions. You're trying to be strong, resilient. Like you, you, you see, this is you holding your sword pointing down. Now you're holding your sword pointing up, which means you're going to speak up for yourself. You're going to talk to someone that maybe you feel doesn't see your point of view and you feel like you need to express yourself. Like you need to defend yourself. Yeah. You, you feel like you need a change, like something needs to shift in a positive way because you feel emotionally unfulfilled right now, concerned about a lot of things. Yeah, you feel betrayed. Whatever this thing is that happened very recently, maybe even days ago, maybe even over this weekend that got you so concerned, you feel like there was great betrayal involved in that situation. This is betrayal, something done in a shady way. You see this? You feel like it was done unjustly. Wow. Yeah, look at all those swords around you. Wow, you're going through a lot, Aries. This is you trying to confront someone and talk to someone. 
whether it's someone in your family or at work or your soulmate you're going through a lot Aries I'm so sorry you're going through so much right now yeah this is you overwhelmed with worries unanswered questions Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey. You see, group of people affecting you emotionally. This is you dealing with some kind of group of people, whether it's in a family or neighborhood or at your job, where you feel exhausted. Yeah, like you're trying to get away from negative energy. This is you trying, like you've been dealing with this group of people for a while. And no matter what you do, you feel like you always end up dealing with them. This is you trying to move on. Something positive is going to happen in your life unexpectedly. Wish fulfillment showing up here. Nine of Cups. Wow, Aries, you are so strong. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate you've been dealing with. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? This person loves you. Yeah. But they very set in their ways. They like to be alpha. They don't really express how they feel. They don't really communicate with you openly. Ooh, they try not to feel this all these emotions. They're trying to downplay it. But no matter how much they try to downplay it and pretend they don't feel this sadness, regret, heartbreak, they, they feel it. They still love you. This was a serious relationship between you two. Yeah. This was a serious relationship. Yeah. Let me see what's going on here. You know, please show us what's going on. They still love you. This person loves you a lot. But it's like they're trying to downplay their feelings. Not to be affected emotionally, but they are. Mm-hmm. And let's show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries has been dealing with. You mean a lot to this person. Yeah, they have a lot of respect for you. They view you as powerful, independent, strong-willed. They're trying to figure out what's next. They know they still love you. Yeah. This was a serious relationship. Here are friendly showing up here on top of four of wands. It's not going to be that easy for them to completely let you go emotionally. <sighs> wow. A lot of drama in this relationship. A lot of uh, misunderstandings, disagreements, breakups. Yeah, they still love you. They realize that they didn't meet you halfway. Look, this person... Uh, is so sad you see the three swords behind them this is them knowing that they need to communicate with you express what's going on how they feeling what they thinking because they still love you you see they can't just disconnect emotionally yeah universe please show us what is going on current i'm so sorry both of you are going through this you know, well, relationships are never easy. Never, right? There's always something going on. Challenges, difficulties, always something. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that summit of Aries. Yeah, you see? This person's trying to figure out, is it too late to save this? This person has a lot of pride. It's hard for them to apologize, to admit to their mistakes. It's something they're going to have to learn. Yeah. Yeah, you see, they don't communicate with you effectively. Yeah, it's something they're going to have to learn if they want to have a solid relationship with someone. Communication is key, 
in all relationships, not just romantic. Wow, let me see one more for you, Aries. You're dealing with a lot of stuff right now. Oh boy, yeah, it's affecting you emotionally deeply. Again, the extra card was the first one that we had at the beginning of the reading, Five of Cups. This is you feeling sad, depressed, let down emotionally. The world is showing up on top of it. So it's something going on that's affecting everyone collectively. And it's adding to your sadness that has to do with your relationship. So whatever it is that's going on, it's affecting you on a collective level. It's affecting everybody, not just you. You see this? But you are one of the people, many people. The world card is showing up here collectively. It's like you pick up other people's emotions, sadness. You are very intuitive. You are an empath. Yeah, you're trying to feel better. See, here's the Ace of Cups trying to pick yourself up emotionally, feel better. Here's that Ace of Cups standing in sunlight. And here's that Ace of Cups. So there's something that's going to change where you're not going to feel this way anymore. Something is going to shift. Whatever it is that got you so sad that is collectively affecting uh, others as well, something is going to shift. Yeah, something is going to yeah, something is going to be better. You're going to find something out. This is communication. Uh, this is something, you finding something out. You're also going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere. I would take that travel. It would be really good for you. New job is showing up here for you. Whether it's new position, new place of employment. Yeah, new way of doing business. Aries, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you. Whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships. Whatever it is you need to know, <clears throat> they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.